Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Trick or treatment, we'll do a little book review today. So the book Trick or Treatment, um, written by Simon Singh and Edward Ed, Edzard Ernst, a couple of Europeans. He's a medical doctor, Ed, Edzard, not Edward Edzard. Ernst, he's a medical doctor. So you've got Simon Singh. He he's a really one of these. Um, he's a science reporter, and he's a scientist of some sort. I mean, he really is heavy duty science, kind of quantum mechanics, this kind of stuff. And then um, Ernst is a medical doctor, and so they're going to review in this book, Trick or Treatment, um, natural health or alternative medicine um, by a scientist and a medical doctor. What could go wrong? What they do in this book is they they kind of cover certain areas. He just sort of hodgepodge things. It's really pretty amazing. And and the reason I'm reviewing this is because people that hate naturopaths for whatever reason, uh, and they're out there. We'll get to maybe some of those people later. Uh, they this is the Bible for them. This is the book that was written, so they know exactly what to say to somebody like myself, who's a naturopath, um, to say what a fraud you are. It's a really premium piece of com what they like to call confirmation bias, what all these people in the scientific community and all the, all the scientists and all the medical doctors and all the medical industry like to say, confirmation bias. It's just, you know, you, you believe in, so this is what this is. This whole book is confirmation bias. Um, and, you know, they, they go into acupuncture, they go into homeopathy, they go into chiropractic, they go into herbal medicine. I actually know about that. And they just kind of touches upon these three. And then they go through all the other, you know, natural therapies and, and they trash all those. They take a bunch of herbs and they find out, you know, the side effects of them. I swear they Googled it. And then um, they just say, you know, you're a fool if you believe this. So there you go. There's your book and um, confirmation bias. Confirmation bias. What they do in this book is they look at, they don't know anything about uh, alternative medicine um, or natural health, so they just two investigative reporters, and that's what Singh is, he's a reporter, he's a science reporter, so he teamed up with a doctor who apparently ha hates natural health and anything alternative. They analyze acupuncture, homeopathy, chiropractic therapy, and herbal medicine. Well, you know, that's just four little aspects of alternative medicine, alternative health, natural health. There are many, many more. They list out a bunch in the back. I don't know why they went after these four to kind of really essentially discredit them. The first, um, they've got, uh, there's six chapters. First chapter is, how do you determine the truth? Well, that's a good one. I can't wait to read that chapter. Actually, I've already read the book, so I have read that chapter. But how do you determine the truth? Well, I, I think, you know, who was it that said? Um, and what is truth? Yeah, oh, that guy. Uh, you know, at the end it says, does the truth matter? So what is the truth? How to determine the truth? What is the truth? And then uh, how does, does the truth matter? Yeah, the truth matters. How you determine it? But isn't that what we're all looking for here? Well, the conclusion at the end of each one of these first chapters are pretty lengthy. Acupuncture. Well, you know, it turns out acupuncture has I mean, been used for thousands of years. You think, you, you know, it's, there's no validity. There's no proof of it. And they, they've, that's it. So they, they scientifically looked at it. There's no proof. That's it. Move on. Okay, it's been used for thousands of years. Um, you think at some point somebody would have said, man, this stuff doesn't work. I mean, it hurts until they take the needles out and then it stops hurting. I mean, you know, I, this is stupid. It works really well. I mean, I, I've known, I know, I know acupuncturists and I know a couple friends of mine go to acupuncturists all the time and, and they have incredible results. But next one is homeopathy. Well, I, I don't know much about homeopathy. I'll kind of leave that out as we dilute something and dilute it and dilute it. Okay, I don't know much about that. Chemo, uh, chiropractic ther theory. Uh, therapy. I don't know much about chiro chiropractic um, therapy or chiropractors or how they work or anything. Not my field. Okay. And then herbal medicine. Well, I know I'll, I'm a master herbalist, a certified master, master herbalist, certified nutritional consultant, and a naturopathic doctor. So there's something I know about. We're going to go through these things and see what these two scientists slash doctors actually know and whether this is even worth looking at because as I said, this is a Bible for a lot of people out there. And one of the things they make a big point of addressing in here is the placebo effect. Because really everything I do is just a placebo. I just tell you 
uh, to take spirulina and chlorella, and I tell you to take this, and then your mind just says, wow, he, he's just so powerful. I mean, it must work. So everything I do, all the, or all the herbal extracts, I so everything I do and everything I tell people to do is just a placebo, and then they get it in their minds and it works. Well, you know what? That'll save you a lot of money in the medical world. Maybe these guys in the medical industry ought to think a little bit more about the placebo effect because apparently it actually works. There's a question in one of the chapters of the, <laughs> this book here I had to laugh at. Why do smart people believe in such odd things? Well, I don't know. Have you ever seen our political debate uh, recently? You ever, you ever noticed what's going on here? You've got very smart people that believe one thing and then very smart people who believe something completely the opposite. Isn't that amazing? And then you think, I thought I knew this guy. It turns out he's insane. She's crazy because they don't think like me in the end. And I think that might be a little bit of the problem here. You know, I mean, it's just sort of like, why do smart believe, people believe such odd things? I don't know. Um, you know, people say, like, for instance, um, you know, why do people believe in the superstition of God and all the things that happened and everything and the Jews and the escaping from it, you know, the, the, you know, Egyptians and all this stuff. And I think to myself, that does that sound like crazy stories out of the Bible and all the miracles? It's just insane. It doesn't exist. And yet we've got these scientists, probably like you know, Simon Singh, the guy, the, the co-author of this book, talking about a multiverse. A multiverse. Now, you go look that one up. I mean, that's where, you know, uh, there's the same people that exist in every single universe. There's uh, thousands of you, and, and there's billions of you. There's an infinite number of you in every single universe in the world. And, and this one over here, you know, you didn't get the girl that you wanted in high school. And that one, that, in that life, you got it. I mean, it's just, who, who believes in what? So scientists, you know, they, they go into this, so much of it is evidence-based, evidence-based science. Okay, well, what's evidence? You want to see my blood work? That's evidence to me. I mean, <laughs> you know, once again, what do we want? We want studies. We want it to be stamped by the medical establishment. That's what's going on here. That's, what's, that's what this book is all about. You didn't go to us. You didn't go to science. You didn't go through a scientist. For some of this, you might have, whatever. I mean, I made a video recently. All, all my products are scientifically tested. Okay, we all, they all have testing on them, heavy metals, herbicides, pesticides, everything. So what's, what's evidence-based? What's the next thing? Well, you want uh, studies? Well, studies, okay. We've got studies that are all over the internet. Go to PubMed. Every one of the herbs I sell, it's all evidence-based. It hasn't had the stamp of approval of the medical establishment, of doctors and of scientists like Mr. Singh and Mr. Ernst, Dr. Ernst. So some of the things, when, when you go into a, if I start writing a book about medicine, um, I, it wouldn't take long for me to, Look, come, look like a complete idiot because what do I know about medicine? But when you don't really know about something and you say, hey, let's kind of get in here and attack a few areas and just kind of scrape off the surface, you end up looking like an idiot. And some of the things that they, you know, put in this book, well, let's throw those up on the screen and see how ridiculous these, these you know, conclusions are in this book, Trick or Treatment. These are the ones that were really dangerous, according to this book, uh, Trick or Treatment. And if you'll see, most of them, what they are is uh, they're interfering with drugs, anticoagulants. You look over and over uh, over. Contraceptives are very bad for you. Don't take contraceptives. Almost every one of the side effects, quote unquote, um, has to do with interfering with some kind of a drug well and as I said many times before it seems like the drugs would be interfering with the herbs but you know this herb interferes with this drug so that the drugs take precedent the drugs are everything because the drugs are the answer so if, when you come at something from this point of view and you're saying well you know we found something in a laboratory we tested it we we ran studies on it we did our double blind studies uh, we did our placebo studies everything it was done according to the way it's supposed to be, and so this takes precedent. So much of these conclusions just depend on your worldview going into it. So I took the time here and put together a little list of uh, side effects from drugs. Because if you're going to say an herb has a side effect, I always see this all the time, what are the side effects of chlorella? The side effects? You know, what are, what are the side effects of fast food? Um, disease? 
you know, what's, what are the side effects of living on a cooked food diet? Disease? Does anybody say that? No, of course not. But anyway, what are the side effects? Let's, let's talk some of the more hilarious. Just look at some of the side effects of these drugs and see if you ever want to take one again. Okay, so you want some side effects? Here's some side effects. This one will make you walk weird, Zeprexa. Okay, asthma related to death. Severe sleepwalking, supposed to put you to sleep. Coughing up blood, changes in your urine. Unusual dreams. A female aggressive aggression. Uh, this guy wanted to kill his family and commit suicide. He got the chills also. Convulsive behaving, eating disorders. Vaginal discharge, itching, you cough up something like coffee grounds, fingerprints disappear. You know, I bet you the criminals would love that one. You know, you probably don't know about it. Let's go back to that question that was on, it's on page 219 of this book. Why do smart people believe such odd things? Hmm, I don't know. But every doctor, uh, the medical establishment, every pharmaceutical, they put this stuff out in the market. The FDA approves it. Look at the side effects here. Do you see any of those side effects there and any of those herbs, which most of them, just it's just a bunch of made-up stuff. These, they didn't try this. They went and researched that they found in a book. I mean, they Googled it, whatever they found. You, you know, it takes really uh, using these things to know whether they're going to work and whether they have a side effect or whether they might not really work with your, your body chemistry so well. But the idea that, you know, you, you can take something that's completely artificial, put it out there, and then it's no problem or anything. Why do smart people believe such odd things? Hmm. Interesting question. Well, let's just go through the rest of this list here. That um, they, they trash every single one of these things, okay, in the end. Detox. You use the T word, toxins. So that's a, that's a good one. Detox, detoxification, getting things out of your body that don't belong there, that lead to disease. Now, that's bogus, okay? Got it. Feng Shui. Now, Feng Shui is air and wind. It's Chinese. Um, it, my entire building, it's, it's, but there's no evidence of this, by the way. It's just, this is BS, you know. It, feng Shui, my entire building is Feng Shui. My, my wife is from Taiwan, is, is really excellent at Feng Shui. My, my office is Feng Shui. If you, don't, if you just want to dismiss it, fine, you're, you're a fool. People laugh about it, but you know it's just it's just something natural. But let's 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 get out the you know the calculators and the slide rules and the computers and the supercomputers, and and Mr. Singh, the scientist and the doctor can decide whether this is worthwhile or not. It's just nonsense. Magnetic therapy. Been using them for years. Either one of these guys ever used magnets? Well, you know what? They don't work. It turns out. So so I've sold you know probably a couple thousand magnets through the years. It's just all a fraud. Yeah, it turns out, huh? Massage therapy, no evidence. Okay, you don't want good circulation. Meditation, so meditation been using for you know, th as long as old as mankind. There's really no evidence that this does anything for the body and making me make your mind peaceful. So they actually attack meditation in this, or just sort of say, well, you know, we don't have any proof of it. So what, what do you need? They need to submit a paper. Does somebody need to do one of these? famous studies that settles everything, that actually settles nothing. Dr. Davis, all of your studies that you have mentioned are all correlative, not causative. No, this is called obligation to set the record straight so that people don't die. I'm uh, naturopathy. Well, that's, I'm a naturopath. Guess what? That's just <laughs> nonsense. We should be arrested. Reflex, reflexology. I know quite a bit about that. That's like looking at your hands and your feet and you can see all the parts and like a, kind of like iridology, which a lot of people just think that's a bunch of nonsense and it's not. You can actually have, a, there's a lot of analysis. Everything that happens in your body gets recorded in your eyes. What's going on inside your body gets recorded in your eyes and you can go in there and diagnose everything. Uh, that was Dr. Bernard Jensen who, who um, came up with that. Really amazing. Last but not least, of course, we have <clears throat> spiritual healing. This is, okay, I call that church, all right? And, uh, and then traditional Chinese medicine. So that one, it turns out, I mean, Chinese medicine, honestly, I mean, is 6,000 years old. <laughs> it's just been around forever. But you know what? Their conclusion is, it's right here, it's potentially harmful. Well, that's good. Hey, how about the medical industry? How about all those drugs that I showed you? Are those potentially harmful? How about people jumping into things that they don't really know much about and then saying, oh, this is a fraud, and I'm going to write this book here, and it's trick or treatment. How about that? Is that potentially dangerous? You know, I'll just say this, and I say this all the time to you at the end of these videos, and, and it's just, it's getting out there and doing it yourself. Experience. 
I've experienced all these things. This, so much of this book is just laughable. If you haven't been doing these things, if you haven't tried all these things, don't denounce them. I mean, I, I wouldn't even think to denounce something I hadn't tried. At least I wouldn't think to denounce a book or a philosophy if I hadn't read it and, and knew it thoroughly. I just say, well, mine's better. I hear this stuff in the, in the religious world all the time. You know, somebody gets into the religious dogma and they, they don't even need to read the other, you know, sacred book or understand what the other person has to say or what these people, what the approach they're taking or anything. They just know. That's it. They're in this system. Those do that doctor and that scientist, they're in their system. They have that worldview and I'm in mine. And I'm going to po posit here that I'm a lot more open-minded about things than these two guys because, you know, I don't, you can hear me denouncing these drugs. And you'll never hear me denouncing medical doctors in what they do in the sense that they can, you know, they're good in emergencies when you have an accident. But when it comes to disease, I've said it a thousand times here, they're worthless, okay? But they don't, they don't see it that way. What they're doing is uh, very rational, very reasonable. This is a scientific approach, and this is the only approach. And I'm taking a different approach, and a lot of people don't like it. It's a nat natural approach. Everything has to be proved. Well, I'm proving it every single day by the foods I put into my body. When I get sick with cancer, then, then I'll be first raise my hand and say, you know, this thing isn't working because I, 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 I do have cancer. When that happens, I'll let you know. But in the meantime, I keep going out and getting my blood work, and it's, it's, it's just perfect. I feel fantastic, full of energy, clear thinking. I'm not forgetting things. And, and the, things just keep getting better for me because I've been doing this for 20 years, and, and I'm in much better shape now now at 60 than I was at 40 when I started doing all this stuff. So who's got the open mind and who's closed-minded? Don't let the medical establishment or scientists again come in to the natural world and dictate it to us what is healthy and what is not because we were here first, meaning nature was here first, and they should be the ones to have to prove to us that what they're doing, their science, really is going to work and make us healthier because so far I haven't seen much evidence of it. And you can look at those drugs again. Look at the interactions. Look at the side effects of those drugs. And the side effects of the herbs they put in here, give me a break. Just a bunch of nonsense. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time. Visit us at watershed.net. You don't know what you're talking about, do you?